The group is GM Recall Survivors. These families all lost uh, members of their families in crashes due to the automaker's faulty ignition switches. Tomorrow, this billboard at Rosa Parks Boulevard and the I-75 service drive will carry a new message targeted at General Motors. Our primary purpose is calling on GM to put action behind their words. They say that they are all about safety, and we want to see them do exactly that. This is the image that thousands of motorists will see daily as they drive I-75. The GM Recall Survivors Group is putting up the billboard. Laura Christian's birth daughter was one of the 124 victims from crashes resulting from faulty ignition switches in GM cars. We have two primary initiatives, the first being to enact federal law holding auto executives criminally liable for staying silent on auto safety issues. The second priority is to ban the sale of used cars nationwide that have been recalled until repaired. The survivors group includes more than 100 of the families of victims. They have a Facebook group with more than 3,700 members. The recall and associated lawsuits and settlements with victims' families is costing GM millions of dollars. Laura Christian and other victims' families are coming to Detroit later this month. They're gonna have a press conference right in front of GM's world headquarters to take their case directly to the automaker. We are live in Detroit tonight. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News.